work at it well and we can keep our heads high. Um, you know, everything that's gone on in the season. We battled away and stayed tight as a group and that was the main thing. And today I think we come out and there wasn't much in the game. And um, you know, apart from a good bit of quality with the cross and, and what have you, it was you know, there, there wasn't much in the game and it was disappointing not to come away with something. The season's obviously had so many highs and lows. I mean, what's been one of the main highs for you this season? You know, I think uh, I think everyone will say it. You know, the double header with Southampton has always it's been a challenge, but you know we've come out, kept our heads high, and I think you know the fans are, are the main reason. I think that it's been an unbelievable season, but they've kept us, you know, with the belief that we can do it. And uh, you know, if it wasn't for the ten points reduction, we would have been stayed, we would have stayed in the league. They're our backbone, and you know they, they give us, you know, the belief to go on and the belief to go and reach that little bit deeper. The lads did try; they'd give it all. It's just switched off at a couple of set pieces and allowed them to to get in there. But I was I was happy with the, with the way the lads put themselves about. It was just a bit unlucky to hear. We've just been over to see the fans. I mean, how important are they to to the season? And you know, what do they mean to you? The fans mean a lot to us because they're stuck by us, regardless of all the situation of the club. Um, great, best fans I've ever played for, to be honest. And that's, that's me being really sincere. Um, without the fans, probably would be no club, to be honest. And we just go out there every game and give it our all because of them. Because we want to give them, show them how much we appreciate their time. So I'd love to always stay at Pompey because, like I said, um, the manager gave me my chance to get back into football. So I do feel like I owe him, owe him something. So yeah, and, and like I said, I love the club, I love the fans, I love the staff, you know. So it'd be very difficult for me to go somewhere else and get used to the whole to tear one again. So yeah, I'd love to stay there. So Michael, you wanted today your players to play for pride. Did they do that? I think they did. I think they did. I think um, you know there was nothing in the game at all, really. I think probably the best half chances probably fell to us. Um, I think it was probably a la- one lapse of concentration by one of our young lads who's going to have a massive, massive future for the football club. You know, which is a great experience for him. Um, and then obviously. A little bit of Achilles' heel towards the end in terms of the the set play goal, but you know we've got some young players who will learn from that, and uh, they'll be they'll be better from it. Whether it's at this football club or where, whether it's going back to their own football club, uh, or whether that's going to another football club. Was there an element of relief from that final whistle went to bring the end of this campaign down? I think there was, and I think there was from the players, and I think there probably was from the fans as well a little bit. You know, obviously they've been magnificent. Um, I think it's a situation where the last couple of weeks, obviously, last week was, uh, you know, the defining moment in terms of obviously that was the definite yes you're down, um, and you've only got to like get one game out of the way, and that was our thoughts. You know, I asked them to be as professional as they possibly could, and I thought they were today. Let's talk about the fans. Last weekend brought it all home really. At Molyneux, they were crying at the Rico. They were being booed off, mm. having a party at Fratton. They've come out in their numbers here at Nottingham as well. Yeah, they've been magnificent. They're the ones who will keep this club going right till the death. And they've got a massive, massive, massive part to play next season, as well as myself and the rest of the staff. And you know, I'm sure they'll do that to their full potential as we will. Next season, um, at the creditors' meeting this week, it was said that League One will happen. Balwar Chanarai might come in and. The club will be there. Is that the message you're getting that you will have at least a season? The club will be playing football next year. I think so. I think everyone's been positive from that point of view. If we can be positive, but obviously it was in, it was important uh, meeting on Thursday, um, and I think it's important to have a little bit of belief. And I think that belief has filtered down to to the majority of people at the football club. Um, and hopefully that'll be the case because um, you know we'd love a, an opportunity to sort of like put things right. It's, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be um, you know. There's going to be a period where you know we have to consolidate and try and dig in there, off the field as well as on the field, and I'm sure we'll do that. And just finally, we touched on it last week. Are you in- enjoying the thought of closed season? Are you excited by it? Yeah, I think um, you know. I think after the result on Saturday, I was you know I really had a spring in my step to be honest with you, um, because it was it was almost relief and it was important because um, you know there needs to be an end point, and I think I think last week was an end point. This was just part of the process today. Um, it was important for the players to do well, whether they were playing for their own future elsewhere or here. Uh, and I thought they did that. And uh, like I say, we've got a we've got a big couple of months coming up, and uh, you know it won't be much uh, relaxation for myself. <laughs> Thank you.